what these things are doing they, they're so cowardly extremely coward cowardly they know that even if the newborn is awake that the newborn is harmless they can see that a newborn is immobile and that's how they determine how much of a threat you are when you're immobile you can't move around like dogs do you immediately look like a target in the mind of a bloodthirsty dog gotta remember we're dealing with creatures that get a sort of high they get a high off of killing and of course, he ends it off by saying, These creatures get a high off of killing. Despite, and I know I sound like a broken record when I say this, but most dogs do not harm people. Also, getting high off of killing? NOT SCIENTIFICALLY POSSIBLE! Oh, and also, if you look like a target when you're asleep, then how come there are dogs that don't attack when you're asleep? Here's the direct question right here. Will a dog ever hurt a baby? Most incidents of dogs injuring babies occur within the few first, first few hours or days of the infant's presence in the home, or when a dog unexpectedly comes upon a new baby or child. Think about that. So see the new baby for the first time, you launch an attack. As soon as they understand that the baby is weak and vulnerable and defenseless, they get the strongest urge you could imagine to kill them. And y'all love these creatures? Better you than me. Sure, it does say all that, but you did leave out one little detail. These could happen in unsupervised situations. Certain dogs do not know their own strength, and can accidentally harm something as fragile as a baby. And besides, if a dog ended up killing a baby, then that means that dog was not trained well. And I know a certain someone is going to say, That has nothing to do with training, it's just the fact that dogs are predators, and they have instincts. Really? Then how come there are dogs that have been able to be gentle around other animals? How come there are dogs that are gentle around kids and never snapped at one? How come there are- I get it! So yeah, please try something new. Anyway, back to tearing this video to shreds. Also, all you did was just read the front text of the page. Because the second half of the article is a guide to make a dog gentle around kids. So this just proves that you don't do proper research and that you're full of shit.